the time once again in the show in which we hear from you, our viewers, first of all, from the Infocus inbox. This is a Marjorie Graham saying, with everything you've seen in this economy, would you recommend creating a business right now? You know, I think you have to do your homework. You've got yeah. to look around and see what you need. Um, I think so. Baby steps. Baby. Really baby steps. Get a feel for it. We started out with just 3,000 square feet. Now we're up to over 7,000 square wow. feet. And we did that when we could afford to pay for it, not when we could add another loan on. Good so for baby you. steps. Sarah Tuttle says, what should customers keep in mind when choosing to shop at a small place or national retailer? Small place, you're keeping your dollars here in Tyler. You're helping. Little League. Little League, or just you're even helping my employees pay their house payment exactly you know or their car payment you're helping me with my bills um, and then in turn what we pay goes back into the city of Tyler here and I'm you know I shop in national chains too and, sure. and it's wonderful we couldn't do without those either but keep in mind local 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 when you can what did you bring us here today well I just brought a smattering of things some of the things you sell yeah well we started out Neil like I said we were chocolates candy and then just gourmet foods things like that that you would just come in and you know sauces and different stuff like that so so if someone would say what is sweet gourmet so pretty much uh, truffles and chocolate stuff, which I absolutely love, but also things like La Crusade over there, right? Yeah. We're really more kitchen, entertaining, gourmet, chocolates and candies. That's good. It's kind of the whole shebang. What's this um, mix so, you brought? So one thing that we are really trying to do, and we're finding this more and more at market, is um, there are wonderful organizations out there that start up businesses and I'm going to talk about two of them. Okay. This mix right here is a pound cake mix. This company, I think they're in Birmingham, they employ people that have physical, mental, mm -hmm. any kind of disability. But can work. But can work. And they, the, the, those folks will put this mix together, they seal it up, and on the back of that mix they sign their name. God bless And you. this one, th this gentleman, his name was LeWayne. The That's candle fantastic. in front of it is the same thing. This little girl, she started, she's from Florida, she has the same developmental uh -huh. disabilities and they make candles. It's wonderful. In fact, the, the one of the, he's kind of a younger type guy, he sent me a video after we placed our order at market and said thank you Miss Pam so much for helping give me a job. Great. It is wonderful. So it that's what we like to do at Sweet Gourmet. We try to buy products that are local so we can support local business. Your neighbors. Yeah. You're being uh, neighborly. Taste of the Southwest formed here in the Zaya district about 30 years ago. Really? Mills Company, um, our peanut brittle, all kinds of things like that. We try to buy local because we have so many customers that come in, maybe going to Japan or Europe, and they want to take something not only from Texas, but from Tyler. Love that, love that. As always, we invite feedback on Focus. So if you want your voice to be heard next week, send us an email, infocus at ktk.com, and you may see your comments right here on the big show.